Hello and welcome to the Business Value Exchange. My name is Helen Beckett and I'm the Community Manager. And I'm very pleased to have with us today Barry Soule, who is CTO of Buffalo Studios. That's a pure play gaming company. Welcome, Barry. I'm glad to be here. Uh, it's really timely uh, having this chat with you because we've been talking a lot about big data on the Business Value Exchange this month, all the kind of implications, ramifications of it. It's a big topic for the boards right now, but it's, it's also a new topic for many of them. But for the gaming industry, it's the, be the bread and butter, the meat and drink. You've been doing it for a long time. Um, could you perhaps first of all share some insights about why data is so important to your industry, what you do? Sure. Uh, in the free-to-play uh, game industry, uh, and our company is, is no exception, the vast majority of the revenue comes from a very small percentage of the users. So being able to uh, c increase the conversion rate of free playing users to paying users by even a small percentage has a huge impact on revenue or getting existing paying users to pay a little bit more also has a, has a huge impact. And, and the decisions around that are based entirely on the data we collect on a day-to-day on -day basis. So I can see that you, know, you need to have very granular, very precise manipulation of data. Can you give some examples of the kinds of commercial decisions, the calls you might make on the back of that data, and your role as CTO? How do, how do you flag up business opportunity within your company? Sure. Uh, kind of two main categories of decisions we make are one around uh, promotions and, and personalized offers. Uh, because we know a lot about the user, how they play, where they play, what they like to do within the game, uh, and their, their previous play and spending habits, we can create highly customized offers for them uh, based on what features they like or whether they purchase higher, like to purchase higher price packages or lower price packages and so forth. So if we can give them the right offer at the right time, it significantly increases the chances that they'll, uh, that they'll make a purchase. Uh, the other kind of main category decision is around what we call the game economy. Uh, really how much of the virtual currency we put into the economy uh, in terms of winnings and rewards in the game versus what we charge, uh, which is taking currency out. That's a very finely tuned balance. It works much like a real, a real world economy and we have to uh, constantly um, keep a watch on the supply and demand of that virtual currency. And that's again all coming from the data warehouse. So what I'm hearing is that you have to be very knowledgeable, very on top of sort of given data feeds, sources, and then you have to, to you know, really know your stuff there. But I'm wondering, with the advent of big data, does that open up other opportunities to mine, I don't know, for example, social data? Yeah, one area we're definitely looking at, which we haven't taken full advantage of yet, is uh, what's, what's kind of now being called sentiment data or sentiment analysis. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 users' trends in, in chat and other social media. Uh, we actually have chat directly within our game. That's one of the primary mechanisms that users uh, use. Our, our game is very multiplayer, very social, uh, and the chat is, is the primary mechanism to uh, you know, talk amongst themselves. And right now we really aren't, aren't mining that data, but it's, it's a treasure trove of data for us in terms of what users like when we release new content, what they don't like. If we have a bug or a problem with the system, that's usually where they'll talk about it first. Uh, and right now, we're really not doing anything with that data. And it's definitely on our roadmap. So this treasure trove and opportunity that lies ahead as well, alongside your, your current data um, activities, do, does that call, well, obviously, there's, there's a, a, a skill shortage out there in terms of data. People are very concerned about it. They're talking about the need for data scientists. What skills do you have in-house? Who are you looking for right now? Uh, In-house, we have, uh, on the tech side, a, a development team that's responsible for make, making sure the data gets collected and is made available. Then we have, separately, our business intelligence and analytics team uh, that is really the consumers of the data. Uh, the, the skill that we find most at shortage is really on the tech side uh, for people who have really been there, done that, building a data warehouse to scale. We find a lot of people that have done it at very small scale or have done a little bit of experimentation or read up on it or they're interested in it, but very few people that have really done it. Uh, and it, it is a hard skill set to find. I think you talked to them, referred to them earlier as sort of having the tribal knowledge, which I liked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, well, well good luck with that, uh, Barry. Uh, it's been terrific talking to you now. So many thanks for your insights, Barry Soul of Buffalo Studios. Thank you.